welcome uh, to a new chapter okay i uh, hope that everyone is keeping well and you are all doing your respective works okay you are studying uh, and also you are uh, relaxing for a while but don't forget this is your board year so you should sit and study sincerely okay so today we are going to start the lens you can see here uh, we have a convex lens and a concave lens you can see how it look like they look like and first of all what is a lens okay that we have to understand that what is a lens okay so do you have you have already seen lenses even i'm wearing a lens okay so uh, let us first know that how we can define lens so how lens are formed mostly we have spherical lenses uh, that we can see uh, in our surrounding but we also have uh, cylindrical lenses uh, let's not talk about that because that is not included in our syllabus even in class 12 it doesn't have that cylindrical form but spherical spherical form is there so how the lenses are formed actually lenses are cut from spherical intersecting spherical uh, surfaces so you can see the convex lens is formed by intersecting two spherical boundaries which is there and you can see these are two centers of the spherical boundaries which are called center of curvature what did i say the c this is also the center of curvature in general we call it center c center of curvature because this actually gives the curvature to the lens i mean this boundaries and the line joining c1 c2 this is called the principal axis and these two things are very important for a lens if whether it is concave or it is convex it should have spherical uh, boundary i mean sorry spherical centers which are called center of curvature and line joining them is called the principal axis that means this is the principal axis for the first convex lens and this is for the concave you can see here now thing is that we also have the radii you can see this is r1 this is r2 this is r1 this is r2 these are called the radius of curvature this is called radius i am writing here because i do not have much space uh, below please write it after this so this is called radius of curvature the similar way the center of curvature obviously uh, when we have centers for a spherical boundary we will have radius and that is called the radius of curvature usually a lens have two radii of curvature by which it is formed so it's a spherical boundary and you can see how the lenses are formed and now we'll move into the other parts which will explain us how lens diverges or converges a particular ray of light or a parallel or whatever a set of rays of light okay let's check it out now let us see why a lens either converges or diverges a particular uh, set of ray of light okay <clears throat> you can see this is a structure of a convex lens this is a structure of a concave lens can you see here we have lots of small prisms if we arrange like this it forms this figure and also the similar way we have lots of prisms now what is the <clears throat> characteristics of prism prism usually deviates a light towards its base great so if you think about this suppose a ray of light touches here then what happens it will go like this suppose a ray of light touches here it will diverge to the base so it will go like this so if it is like here it will again go like this so eventually you can see whenever a prism you know if i imagine lens to be the you know arrangement of several prisms then this kind of lens convex it is acting as a diverging lens but now comes if you think this is the base of the prism this is the base of the prism if you like goes this way then what is going to happen it will diverge what is going to happen it will diverge what is going to happen here it will diverge so in this way the lens it actually acts so either we can imagine lens to be uh, you know small prisms constructed uh, on a particular pile wise and then we can observe the divergence or convergence of the set of rays of a particular light and then 
it will convex lens will be working as a convergent converging lens and concave will act as a diverging lens we'll come to know about more of this kind of topics a bit for later okay uh, right now we'll go into some basic definitions of lens which are associated with it we have to know we already know three things center of curvature radius of curvature and of course the principal axis but there are other things which we should know and now we'll come up with those things now let us define what is called optical center okay optical center we are going to define uh, we have to define this in two ways okay the first of all is that if you take uh, a thick lens that we usually use then suppose if a ray of light is going through and when it is finally coming out from the lens it is parallel i mean this ray and this ray if you see the trace of the this ray will be like this so these two lines are parallel so if they go parallel the trace of the ray through the lens i mean you can understand there will be refractions here so this stress will intersect the principal axis at a fixed point which is called the optical center of the lens remember one thing optical center is the only point from where we can calculate any distance of the object or the image or the focus or other things like you did spherical mirrors where pole where the center from where we used to calculate other things now here for this phase of lens we have optical center so this is for thick we have another definition if we have a thin lens then what happens the lens when it goes through the lens uh, uh, the thin lens it doesn't actually deviate okay so it goes straight and it intersects the principal axis at a particular point which is called the optical center so for usually for thick lens it is the stress of the ray which intersects the principal axis and for the thin lens it is the actual path of the light ray which will inter intersect the principal axis which is known as the optical center don't forget we have a universal identifier like for spherical mirrors the pole where p and for this it is o optical center so it is o so now let's move to other important parts of lens which we should know okay focus is the point where the light rays will ultimately get focused so for the converging lens or the convex lens when we send the parallel beam of light it will converge it and it will meet the principal axis at a fixed point which is called the principal focus or prime focus of the convex lens and for the concave it will diverge so if we backward produce it then only we can get the focus of the lens in case of lens like in spherical mirrors we have radius of curvature more important but in case of lens focus is more important because radii of curvature is very difficult to calculate okay because you can understand uh, you do not have any tool by which you can easily calculate the radius of curvature but we can actually find out the focus by sending light and make it you see when we take photographs okay what we do we take the light rays to go through the lens okay and then finally it will converge to a particular point where we want to get the image so that is what is going to happen here the focus is the point where the ray of light will parallel beam of light will ultimately get uh, meet at the point it will actually meet for a convex lens i repeat it will actually meet for a convex lens and it will appear to come from uh, a particular fixed point for a concave lens and these two points are called the principal focus f1 and um, because you, you can see understand this is the actually we call it a real sight and this is the uh, for concave lens uh, this is both are the real sight this is the virtual sight and for convex this is the real sight for object and this is the real sight for image and here this is the real sight for object this is the uh, 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 virtual sight for image i'll come to you these things so right now we have two for side this side and that side one is called principal focus and that is another one is called the secondary focus okay so this we have to know we have to define we have to write this diagram focus what is focus of a convex lens or concave lens it usually being asked in icc and say bc board exams be careful uh, to learn this definitions okay very good now uh, we'll discuss certain uh, more characteristics of a lens and how images are formed 
Uh, this is the part one of the lens. So I'm uh, almost going to conclude this particular uh, lecture. So what we have learned till now is we have learned how lenses are formed, what is center of curvature, what is radius of curvature, what is principal axis, what is optical center, why lenses are converging or diverging. We have explained it through the concept of prism and we already know what is the optical center and we already know what is the focus of the lens which is very important part of the before we go do something with the lens we should know these uh, properties and characteristics okay so there are few things uh, which i should tell you uh, come up with uh, and after that we'll sit back with your textbook you'll see there is a particular uh, exercise after you finish this, uh, this reading this is very much informative there is no numericals only uh, you know have to draw diagrams, you have to practice drawing diagrams, these diagrams and you have to understand the basic definitions like focus, optical center, center of curvature, radius of curvature, um, you know principal axis, optical center and all these things. Okay, these are the main thing that we have covered in this part. Uh, uh, it's not finished yet but let us move to uh, some principles of forming images through lens uh, that will come up, a picture will come up right now. So we have completed the first part of lens, we have understood how lens works, uh, it's based on refraction but uh, it has certain other characteristics that we have already uh, understood, I hope. Uh, if you have any doubt please uh, send me your doubts in my whatsapp number, uh, even in the group, okay, we have the group, I'll clarify uh, your doubts definitely or else we'll have a scheduled uh, doubt clearing sessions that we usually do. Or uh, the classwork or uh, classwork sessions, then also you can ask me doubt in the group so that I can answer your questions while writing the classwork. You can send me your doubts, I can, uh, by the time you finish up your classwork, I can reply back to your doubts. Don't forget to read this thing, okay? I've already completed the first part of the lens, the second part will come up uh, after a few days, which is image formation by lens, and this is very important for uh, your board exam. And that is the next part the image formation by concave and convex lenses and that will come up in the next part okay so now you see your part you have, what you have to do you have to sit with the exercise the first part you have to complete the question answers only question answers are there and especially there are a lot of diagrams you should practice these diagrams because it will help you and do remember the picture that came up right now uh, whatever uh, instructions are given those are very important for the next part okay so till then bye bye stay safe stay productive and don't forget to sit with your textbooks and complete these sections. Okay, till then, this is Ariji Trey and wishing you all the best and bye bye.